Welcome everybody to this episode of Pinch House Garage on the Patreon built VR6 Turbo. And on today's episode, we're going to learn how to do the upper lower timing covers with a rear main seal. So let's get to work because this is Pinch House Garage. So, first things first, as always, we make sure we have a clean surface. Everything on the VR6 has to be clean here because this is a maiden surface that has oil on the inside. And since oil goes through here, we have to make sure oil doesn't go through anywhere else besides back into the oil pan and not into the ground or just around your engine. So whenever, if you got this engine taken care of at the machine shop, you should have a beautiful smooth uh, mating surface here and all around your lower uh, portion of your engine. If so, then we are good to go for the next step. So for your next step, is making sure your timing covers are clean and ready for pretty much mounting. And what I mean by that is that the metal surfaces here are free of any paint or debris or um, just uneven metal or just RTV stuff all over. Same goes for this side right here. Make sure this area is clean and here. And obviously where the uh, tensioner over is for the upper tensioner. Next step also is making sure this surface is clean of any debris. I did paint the timing covers the way I wanted to so they came out pretty gnarly I'm pretty happy with my results of my paint work it's pretty cool um, so this timing cover is our upper one because this is where the valve cover mounts right here this guy meets here and you gotta re remember um, the little tensioner hydraulic tensioner uh, bolt here that goes on here has to be flush before installing it. If not, you're gonna have a lot of problems pushing this in. And this guy's gonna go in kind of like this, just like that, okay? So when doing this, you can RTV here, here, and here. That's it. Very minimal RTV is required around these. Now, you are gonna need to make sure you have a decent amount of RTV in these corners. Corners is where they leak. So make sure you have, a, not a ton, but a good amount of RTV on these little edges right here. Because when we mate this to, the, to here, we wanna make sure everything, you know, does a good job in sealing, okay? Now, you can do the timing cover one cover at a time because they're not uh, needed to be mated um, at the same time however okay I would recommend doing the top first then work into the bottom and then we're gonna do the rear main seal last okay guys so we're ready you'll see here it's super thin coat of RTV nothing down here I put it on the actual gasket itself because this is going to sit on that and it's going to put pressure on it when we get to that point. And again, sandwich that nice and good and tight. And then get your hardware and tighten everything down by hand and then torque it to spec. It's okay if you let the RTV kind of like um, cure slowly. It doesn't damage anything.
going a lot harder because of the spacer that we have on here for the head spacer. It's uh, gonna be a little snug. Now make sure you tighten everything down again by hand. Don't be like getting a ratchet and just going to town with it because if you do that, it might not go in so smooth and you might cross thread everything. Once you confirm like a good five, seven turns, like nicely, then you can go with the ratchet and get it tightened down. I just explained, they're gonna go on snug because of the head spacer. down just ever so lightly, not super tight, just snug, and then I'm going to work on the lower tiny cover next. Now, this lower tiny cover, just so you guys know, we're only going to RTV what's on the inside, this guy right here. No, I'm sorry. This guy right here. This one, and this one, this one. Yes. We're not going to RTV the bottom piece right here. This is for the oil pan. We're not there yet. Okay? And then, oh yeah, make sure you pop out the old uh, seal here. We're going to have to do that in just a minute. Okay. So, rear main, uh, yeah, rear main seal installed. Super, super, super easy. So you have to install the rear main seal first and then we have to tap it all into place. So they give you a cool little tool for the install of the rear main seal and then the actual rear main seal. So first things first, get a little 2x2, two two, put it under, on, on, underneath the um, timing cover, put your seal right here on top. Do the best you can to do it by hand first. Okay, get a two by four, nice and across, and start smacking it into place. And checking obviously side to side if it doesn't go all the way down to the sides. Oh, use a rubber mallet, don't use a metal hammer for this, okay? Don't want you damaging your, your 
your actual thing here, your little tiny thing here. And you'll hear it bottoming out, so that's how you know you're at the bottom almost. So like right here it's nice. We still need a little bit more over here. Flat. Remember, we use uh, we use this tool that they give you, the curved cone. Now, a good gasket company will give you this. A crappy one won't. Okay, it's an actual install tool here. It's a little cone that helps you slide this onto your crank. Some of them don't do that, and it sucks because. You try to slide the seal over, and what happens is you end up bending the um, the actual seal itself. So just remember that. All right, same process as before. Um, no RTV on the bottom where the oil pan hits. All the RTV goes here, all the way over here and around. Do not do the oil pan. Okay? I'm already warning you guys ahead of time. Okay, so this is where the precision kicks in now. Because now you gotta get that seal on. All at the same time that you're sliding this entire thing on. Pan off really quick. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Gonna hurry, gonna hurry. Got RTV drying.
line up 100% right now. It's not close enough to... Gotta go on. Nah, this is gonna suck. Okay, so the issue that I had is that the paint uh, here and here wasn't allowing me to push it all the way in. So what I had to do is get a C clamp and push it down nice and tight here until I got two threads, or two or three threads here by hand. Here and then down here and then everything else got tightened down. Again, because I painted it, a lot of the paint got in the holes. So like these, uh, these spots right here, right here, this one, and down here where they have the, the set screws or the set points if there's too much paint inside of it it's going to make it really difficult to slide on okay once you do that again everything goes in by hand then we torque everything to spec Two underneath, just as a heads up. There's two that go right down here. And those are also a pain in the butt. Covered by the head gasket. 
Two holes here. The head gas is blocking it. So it's preventing us uh, sandwiching these two together. Which is vital for the oil from here. Um, uh, but we'll figure that out in just a little bit. But I'm going to get you guys the torque specifications here. This guy has a torque spec, just so you guys know. And then all the bolts that go all the way around have a torque spec. So let me get you guys in just a minute. All right, so this guy right here for the tensioner, that's 40 Newton meters. Everything else is 10 Newton meters. And then the last but not least are the two that go right here. Is 25 Newton meters for these two, all right? All right, so everything is torqued down to spec pretty much from here all the way around. I didn't do these two down here, and I didn't do these two yet. I'll get to those in just a minute, but everything else should be good. And I gotta drill these out and then clean them and then put the new bolts in there and torque those down to spec as well before I go any further on anything else. Again, 40 Newton meters, 10 Newton meters, and 20 Newton meters for everything on here. And that's it. After that, your timing upper and lower timing covers are done. And your our next project after this is to do the uh, the oil pump pipes and the pan. Once that's done, then we can move forward to doing the the cooling system on the side of the head and in the front of the engine block. And then once that is done, the next procedure will be the valve cover. Um, Valve cover, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, the turbo, all the lines for it. Um, the oil pan, we're not gonna uh, adhere to the, we're not gonna RTV it because we gotta custom make a part on the oil pan so we can have a return line. And then we also have to make a feed line from the, uh, I believe over here on the front of the uh, oil system. So again, these are all things that we have to do in steps to make sure or ensure that everything works correctly by the time we actually get to the point we have to turn this baby on. So thanks for watching, PTL's Garage, and as always here, we're gonna break, we're gonna fix, and we're gonna repeat. Peace out everyone, and you guys have yourself a wonderful day.